Well, bit of a strange start to the vlog. I was meant to be doing Spartan Race with Jordan, but he had a little hospital incident. But don't worry, he's A-OK. -okay. And my friend from Glasgow, Fraser. Hello. Hello. He's actually doing it with me. So we're here. Uh, we're absolutely buzzing. There's all the tents from people that have came to camp. I don't know if it's the staff or people that have just travelled a bit. But I'm absolutely buzzing for this. I was, if I was going to be doing it myself, I'd have probably treated it quite competitively. I would have won it. But um, nah, I'm just going to do it with my mate. So keep it chill. Just have fun with it. So sadly, I did order a GoPro, but it never came in time, which is really annoying because I ordered it in plenty of time. But UPS standard, you know, the score. But yeah, I'm just going to get into this and hopefully I'll get some cool photos and clips by the end of it because you get wet and I probably won't be able to record anything, which is really saddening, but it's okay. I'll have fun with this one and I'll record the next one. We thought only one person had to do it, so I've got my negative, but apparently everyone has to do it. So now we need to stand and wait on Fraser's test getting done. Oh, is he going to have Covid? Oh, is we going to be able to do it? <laughs> I wonder if he can make it go quicker by turning it upside down. <laughs> oh well, it's a shame I won't be taking my phone with me because it gets muddy. Woo! That's us finished. That was a, uh, that was, that is a bit of me by the way. That was so fun. How did you get on with it? Good? Classic. Look at the colour of us. We got these sick little medals which is awesome. I'm dying to do the trifecta next year. Once we're finished we got this water. I think it tastes pretty right to be fair. I'm interested to try this. Yeah, yeah, we got a free t-shirt as well. There's plenty of stuff. There's a pretty cool stand over there that's got like natural, it's basically like a pre-workout. It's got like coconut oil and stuff. I'm going to really check that out because I'm right into my nutrition. Oh, it's a shame Jordan couldn't have been with it, here with us today, but thinking of you, buddy, I, I'll give you this as a memento. Thanks, Jordan. And thanks for letting Fraser come. It was an absolute awesome day out. This will not be the last time I do this. I will use the GoPro for some mega cool coming up. I've got another thing planned when the weather gets a little bit cooler. Oh, I will be honest, I've took my shoes off. I need to find out some good running shoes for this because my feet are in bits. Like, I do not want to see the blisters I've got. Ultra boosts, I've never actually found them actually good for running. Um, but yeah, I need to get another pair. These are pretty old, but yeah. I try to keep my feet soft, and I know that these are going to be wrecked. So let's just keep on keeping on. Got some of this 4% stuff. Um, that's probably why the ID on the way in. And it is, what do you think, way a bit trash? Awful. Awful, but I think it's meant to be healthy. And healthy things don't usually taste good. Except for my meal preps. I do enjoy my meal preps. That's pretty trash though. First massage I think I've ever had. Get the CBD in. I do feel tight. So hopefully I won't feel as much dogs tomorrow. Back in the car. I've got my makeup on, as you can see. Uh, my, my thoughts have half gathered. I'm going to give you some quick tips. Um, it's my first experience of Spartan Race. But naturally I'm, I'd like to say I'm quite athletic. And at that... That was just a bit of me. Like, that was amazing. I absolutely loved that. Tips. Basically, the way that this is a challenging event, because you might think 10k is not much, but the obstacles they throw at you are shifting all the blood up. So you're doing a lot of upper body work. Shifts all the blood up. And then when you're, you're having to shift the blood back to your legs when you're running, and it is hard. So, like, just easy, quick off the bat tips is what I applied, and it worked. Because if you stop running, then you're not going to start again, and it's so much harder. So... Just drop the pace, like me and Fraser overtook like a lot of people just because we were literally running at just over a walking pace, just until <clears throat> our heart rate dropped back down from doing our obstacles, and <clears throat> sorry, um, our heart rate dropped back down and then we could pick up the pace once the blood was back in our legs and we we're feeling a bit less fatigued. Now, um, running downhills, it depends on the, the gradient that you're running down. If it's a massive incline, you want to take lots of quick little steps. If it's a reasonable decline, you can use a lot of momentum and you can make up some time if you want. Same as incline, as soon as I hit the slightest bit of incline, I, boom, I'll cut my pace right down. And I mean right down just because um, you get lower back fatigue, you just get fatigued and then you're, you're too, too tired if you drop the pace right down to just above a walking pace, literally then you're just going to be able to keep going and it's just it's more mentality rather than um having any muscle fatigue i'm gutted about the gopro but it's fine anybody that knows me uh, knows that i talk 
I can talk to a brick wall. But uh, it's just an awesome way to meet people. Like I've got a lot of contacts um, that just from just talking to people, traveling around. And we actually started speaking because you know I love my micronutrients. And I was talking to Jason from Bax. And Jason was extremely kind enough to actually give me uh, two tickets to the Scotland, Scotland Spartan Race. So shout out Jason from Bax. Give him a check out. Um, we were starting talking about a lot of micronutrients that so I actually got he's basically a pre-workout that's a natural blend and I'm going to be well interested to try this ideally I will use it next week when I try and attempt another marathon with Fraser it depends on the temperature depends on quite a lot of things how my body's feeling because I'm feeling quite broken from that and my feet are killing me if there's one thing that I can't do is get my feet hard because I don't want hard feet I try and keep them soft I, I moisturise them and stuff but, um, but it's my feet that let me down definitely as well as my shoe wear I wear ultra boosts and I've never thought they were good for running so uh, Jason actually told me to look into Solomon's shoes as well as Asics that's what he used Jason's got quite a cool backstory Jason was lucky enough to travel for his work um, and he does insane insane things like cycle across the Himalayas just wild fly fighter jets just think adrenaline junkie that is Jason um, so yeah, we'll talk about micronutrients, etc. So I'm quite buzzing to try these. But yeah, me and Up Fraser had an awesome day out. Did you have a good day out? Yeah, a great day out, mate. Great Thank day you. out. Jordan actually hurt his neck. Um, he collapsed, but don't worry, he's okay. He's uh, overexerted himself because he's tonsils. So it's going to be awesome the fact that Jason's given me these two tickets to Scotland's Spartan Race, and it means I can bring along Jordan. And do you know what? We might actually, that'll be two out of three to do the trifecta because I've got the medals. So we might even, might even try doing the trifecta this year. You never know. We'll see. I got a massage there for the first time, which was awesome. Um, I would like to try getting more massages, but do you know what? I would rather spend my money traveling the UK and paying gym entries. That's pretty much all my, my, my wages go on. Traveling or fuel, gym entrancy, and uh, I don't know, alcohol probably, which is one that I don't like to admit, but my friends from Scotland are my, my weak link, if you want to call it. But living in Derby, I don't drink as much as I usually do when I'm with the boys. So that's how I am doing all this cool stuff at the weekends. Sorry to jump in here, but it's the next few days following the Spartan race. And do you know what? It influenced me so much that I'm going to change my training for the first time in a minute. Um, I just feel I'm too athletic to be just purely classified as like a bodybuilder or whatever you want to call me. I like all fitness and Spartan race was just, it just really resonated with me. Now, I smashed that Ken K like no one's business. I ran at my mate's pace, but I definitely think I could do it competitively. Now, how am I going to implement this change well i'll still be keeping my my pull push leg split those days will stay relatively the same except i won't be hitting any more higher rep ranges on the leg day purely to prevent overtraining so i'll be doing some more spark uh, an extra day which consists of spartan cardio if you want to call it basically this involves jogging on a treadmill changing the gradients up changing the speeds i'm going to be sometimes wearing a jumper sometimes i won't be wearing a jumper this is going to mimic wearing uh, different temperatures on saturday it was 20 degrees when we ran so pretty hot we've got one in a few months time that will be scotland so it'll be cold that'll be me not wearing a jumper now given that spartan race makes you use multiple muscle groups while i'm jogging up and down different terrain I'll be hopping off the treadmill and I'll be climbing up like the monkey bars, for example, on a pull-up bar in the gym. I will be moving to JD Gym just because they've got a rig. Ideally, the plan is I can hop off this treadmill, run up, climb up the, the different tiers of the monkey bars and climb back down. And I'll be doing different things like that. They also have a sled that you can push and I will change up pushing with my shoulders, pushing with my arms as well as my legs, just to keep that the blood flowing up towards my upper body and then force it back down to my legs just to keep elevating my heart rate up and down just try to replicate the spartan race as much as possible now since i do have my gopro i will be wearing the gopro throughout it so i won't initially be competitive because it's fun running with your friends but one day down the line if i want to feel like it if i want to run it myself solo run maybe take the hat off and run with the big dogs we'll see it is all about uh, getting a small time so tactically all the big dogs run in the morning when the ground's fresh. But that means you could be running with the pack, waiting on obstacles. Now, one kind of clever way is, when me and Fraser done it, it wouldn't say the crowd was that competitive. So you weren't waiting on any obstacles. So that is one technique that you could use. Also, you could look at the temperature. Randomly, we did go on the Saturday when it was 20 degrees. 
but the Friday was 30 degrees, so all the big dogs would have been struggling, and then you can just kind of, you can, you can, you, there is tactics around it, so you never know, we'll see how it goes. For the foreseeable, this is going to be my new training split, because I don't want to just be, I want to be quite well-rounded, a well-rounded athlete, as you want to call it, or what I call it, athlete. Um, so yeah, I want to start implementing my cardio, jack my cardio up, and yeah, just have fun with it. Back to Spartan Race Lee. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff, ding dong that notification bell. Uh, next time we do the Spartan Race, I will have a GoPro, and I'll GoPro it, and it's going to be sick! Subscribe for more, because I've got a hell of a lot more stuff that I want to do before the end of the year, and it's just simple stuff, it's pretty fun, so yeah. Stay happy, be positive. Stay happy, live for the weekends, and yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,